Hello, welcome to Jaina J's Art Studio. Today, we are going to look at an interesting, awesome artist. Her name is Heather Gawler. She is an artist that uses shape and design and color. In her artwork, all seven of the elements of art. And she's awesome at it. So let's get started. I am going to use a Sharpie. And you'll see me change it between the two different Sharpies. And I'm using a Sharpie because we end up with a black a line drawing that we can color. And then I want you to color it or you can just use the black Sharpie to color it. So you can just have black and white or you can do color. It's up to you. Do what you want. All there is to do is just have fun. That's all I want you to do. Now, we are going to start with the flowers. Now, up here at the top of the page is where we're going to start drawing our flowers. So, she normally does circles. There's one that I see a lot in her painting that is a circle. And then there's little circles inside. So, you can color the little circles different colors. Then there's another one where she does petals does a little middle circle and then she does petals like this you can do petals many different ways then she always draws a circle around it then another circle and you can do it however you see fit then there's also one that's like a circle here and then she radiates circle now this circle this flower is going to go underneath this flower so we have to work around the other flower now this creates depth like this flower is behind this flower then I want to put lines then I'm going to put bumps here you can do it however you want and then I'm going to put circles here and you're just designing a flower it doesn't have to look like a real flower you are designing it make it look pretty then I want to do this flower again over here put circles in the middle and it doesn't have to be perfect because when it's not perfect it makes the painting look so much better then i'm going to do my own version and i like roses so i'm going to do a spiral out and it's going to go behind this flower to create some depth then over here i'll do another one where it's got petals on it, but they're rounded. There's no wrong way to do it. And you can put lines too if you want. It's up to you. Design it however you want. Next, we are going to put in the pot. And the pot can be anything you want. It can be any shape you want. I'm going to make my pot sort of like a triangle and it can't stand like that so I'm going to go ahead and put another one down here so it is standing so as you see with her painting she has a lot of patterns and stuff in there and lines and shapes so I'm gonna put a pattern on here but I like to do I want to do zigzag Then I'm going to make it go around like this and go around like this so it makes it look like it's rounded. Now down here, I'm going to make it rounded. And that is my pot. You can make it any shape you want. Now we need to put the stems in. And with the stems, you put the stems in and I'm going to make my stems pretty thick. This one can be curved. This one can come down like this into my pot. And this can come down like this. This goes down and then you've got one right here. Now we got our flowers in the pot. Now, I'm gonna make this a little more sturdy. Now we need our leaves. So we put a leaf up here and a leaf can be a filler to the background. Wherever there's not a flower, it could be a leaf. And 
And the same here. I'm going to put one back here and it's going to come out the side like that. You can make the leaves however you want. And then I'm going to put a leaf out here. And I'm going to make another leaf that's out here that sticks out. However you want to do it, you can do it. There's not a wrong way to do it. Now, I'm going to put the table in. So I'm going to put a table back here. Just a line right here, as you can see. Then I want my tablecloth to be stripes. And I make them diagonal because it looks like that. It's actually sitting on a table. Then the background, I'm going to put something back here. And I'm going to put loop de loop lines back here loop-de-loop -loop lines right here and then stripes now let's put another leaf over here now you got your black and white painting that's ready for you to color or you don't have to color it what you can do is go ahead and color stuff in that are black and white where you want to color it and it can stay black and white this is called a line drawing. Now you can color it. When I color mine, I'm going to use markers. You can use crayons. You can paint it. You can use color pencils. And I want to show you, after you're done, put your first name on somewhere on your painting. And I'm going to put Jana J. And then put the year 2020. So when you take a picture of it and you send it to me, I'll know whose it is. Now, this is the finish of someone else's that has done it with me earlier. And this is the finished drawing. And as you see, they use polka dots. They had stripes in the back. And they had the tablecloth on here. This is actually my daughter. She didn't want to put her name on it. So you see Dana J on there. So until next time, we do another piece of artwork. Um, remember to take a picture of it, send it to me, and I will post it. Thank you for being part of Jana J's class. Bye.